Hey guys, Zephanix here. So let's talk about one of the new generation MMOs that's coming out for the PlayStation 3 and the PC, namely DC Universe Online. Now, um, I'm kind of excited for this to come out and I'm hoping that it becomes part of Sony Online Entertainment's um, station access. Basically what it does is, because um, it'll give you, like you pay a set amount and then it gives you access to all of their um, MMOs, not to mention it also adds extra features you know, to your MMO, like you might get like extra map packs and things of that nature. I know a lot of you are kind of worried or don't want to pay you know, to play like certain MMOs. I'm telling you right now, you're, you're losing out. Like really, you really need to stop thinking in those directions and really pay attention. I mean, I, I guess the only thing I can say is grow up. I mean, I, I know it sounds bad and whatever, but honestly, man, the best things that you get are paid to play. And seriously, think about it. Imagine free internet versus internet that you pay for. You damn sure, internet goes out, oh, we'll get it when we get it. Oh, you paying for the internet? Oh, well, let us get that for you take, take your money away. You know, things like that. You know, it does work like that. Think about it like this. Free TV versus cable TV. Right? I mean, think about it any way you want. Anyway, so let's go and talk about that for a second. Now, first of all, art direction, please. That's, we don't need to talk about it. It's Jim Lee, for the love of Christ. Let me put it to you this way. Remember the X-Men, the gold and the blue costumes? Jim Lee did that. Matter of fact, Jim Lee pretty much upgraded every superhero that you might know except for maybe Spider-Man. And with that, I think that was Tom McFarlane who did that one, the creator of Spawn. That's why you notice there's a, there's a similarity between Spawn and Spider-Man because Tom McFarlane made Spider-Man. The new Spider-Man that you know now, he's the one who made that one. So that being said, though, let's go ahead and talk about DC Universe now. Now, I'm excited because I would like to see, like from what I've seen, the gameplay is actually quite different, but it looks all right. Now, the better, built, the better built look a lot better than the alpha build. Oh my god. The original alpha build was stiff. But now the better, better um, built has better animation. So I'm definitely looking, it looks a lot better. I know a lot of people who have been paying attention. Um, we talked about this before. So yeah, they're like, yeah, you're right, Zeph. I know. But um, I mean, I'm interested. Like, you get to meet up with iconic characters such as Superman, um, Batman, or Super Boobies. I mean Power Girl. So, um, I call it Super Boobies. If you know who Power Girl is, then you know why I call it Super Boobies. But, at any rate, um, I'm excited for that too, because you know, you get to hang out with the, um, the Teen Titans, or maybe, you know, you get to get information, you know, hey, Oracle's calling you, she wants you to do this with this person. And then, uh, there's also like, there, if I understand it correctly, they're gonna have like random events happen. You know, like random, cases happen and then you get to interact with those cases at the same time there might be a villain there a pc villain who wants to interact with that case and wants to stop you who wants to let that guy go free but he wants to stop you so that's cool and so you can actually go ahead and make a nemesis and i think that's pretty cool you know you can have another character out there who just so happen to meet and your powers are so similar and you just clash constantly clashing so you're wind up making a you're coming up you have your own nemesis you know, you're making your own story, and I'm loving every second of it. I can't wait for it to be revealed. Um, so, you know, and not to mention, I they're working on getting it cross-platform, but there is nothing on it just yet. However, I do know that Final Fantasy XIV is cross-platform, so it is definitely possible, but we'll just have to see. So, that is pretty much it for um, DC Universe Online. Now, I'm except for I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully it will be cross-platform. If so, I definitely plan to play with my PC, uh, my PlayStation 3 brother right out there. I want to go ahead and, um, well, whoop all your asses. So all you guys be, tell me if you're going to be heroes, I'll be a villain and just take you all out. Okay? Let you know. If I'm a good guy, I'm a Green Lantern. If I'm a bad guy, I'm a Yellow Lantern. That's pretty much how it works out. Or a Red Lantern. Ooh, Rage. What was it? Yeah, uh, Red Lantern's Rage. Yellow Lantern is Fear, and Green Lantern is, I have no idea what Green Lantern is. Um, masturbation? No. Um, no, blue is Hope, Black is Death, I think, Purple is Love, it's been a while since I've done it, but anyway, like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, if I do become a good guy, I'll be a Green Lantern, and one of the things I'm liking about it too is like the powers are quite different. You know, from what I've seen in like Champions Online and City of Heroes, you know, so 
despite that, though, a lot of people may not like City of Heroes or it's rather Champions Online, but Champions Online is actually pretty good, especially when you've got a higher levels. It's like my favorite character was the Ice character. I love that because like what happened is that once you start using your powers, your powers would affect your whole body at one point, and then you become like encased in a whole bunch of ice. So now my body is like glistening in ice, and everything would hit harder. So I mean, it's just it's 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 actually pretty cool. Um, haha, <laughs> cool. You, you see what I did there? Um, but anyway, so what do you guys think of Champions Online and MMOs in general? Do you plan to do you plan to jump on an MMO MMO bandwagon now? It has finally come to the consoles. Now, these are new generation MMOs. Let me remind you of that. And I suspect, I've heard rumors, but I suspect next year, E3, one of the biggest announcements that you're going to get from Sony is, in fact, EverQuest 3 for both the PC and the PlayStation 3. I'm, I'm thinking that is the case. Now, I could be wrong, but I highly doubt it. Whatever happened to um, PlayStation 3's uh, free realms, too? What happened to that? Anyway, so let me know. What do you guys think? Are you guys about the MMOs that's coming out for PlayStation 3? Let me know. Zep out.